Hello, welcome to Lady Applejack Speaks VA, a VA channel here on YouTube that focuses on the Netflix series, Stranger Things. I hope all my Stranger Things are having a good Sunday. Once again, it feels like this weekend just went completely gone and, and we're back in the weekdays. Oh God. But anyway, um, I was supposed to post last night. I know, I know I didn't get home till late last night. And by the time I got home, I was dead on my feet. So I decided to wait till today to post. And I think you guys are going to enjoy this post. It is for series one, small town. Yay. Yes. I have a new episode for it. And, um, this is episode 17 for this series. Um, I think you guys are going to really like this. So I believe Sarah was the one that gave me this idea. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody call me out on it, but they gave me this idea that Eddie and female listener shares their evening of Halloween with us. So this is a Halloween episode. Halloween happens to be my favorite time of year. So you guys are probably going to see a lot of different Halloween scripts coming out from me. I, I actually was so inspired after writing this particular script that I'm thinking about going back into time and probably writing about their first Halloween or their second Halloween together. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, um, yes, this is episode 17. It takes place October 31st, 1986, which falls on a Tuesday at 5.45 p.m. Now, if you guys are not familiar with, you know, that time frame, I mean, I, I grew up around the same time frame. Actually, I was like a, a toddler around this time. Um so I, I recall certain things about Halloween and those, those period of years. Like, for instance, when Halloween fell on a weekday, we still went out for trick-or-treating. Like, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You went trick-or-treating, whether it was on Tuesday or Saturday of that year. Um, and one of my best memories that I have going trick-or-treating was when I was like... I want to say I was eight and it was, uh, I want to say it was like a Tuesday or a Wednesday as well. I can't remember. It was, it was on a weekday. And I remember we were getting ready to go trick or treating and it snowed on Halloween. Granted, I live in the Midwest, so it doesn't matter. Winter can start at any point for us, but it snowed on Halloween and I was supposed to go. Oh God, I think I was supposed to go as a princess or a rock star. It was one of those two. It was too cold. And my mom called my dad from work and said, you cannot let her wear that costume. She's going to freeze out there. So I ended up dressing like a snow leopard. <laughs> and my dad took me trick-or-treating. And I remember it was, we could only stand to go one block. It was so cold that night. And then he bartered with me. He said, if you want, what we could do is we can go to the grocery store and I could buy you whatever candy you want and we could just go home and eat candy and you could watch a horror movie and then, you know, it, it'll be bedtime. And I, I bought it. I caved because it was so freaking cold. So I had that memory in my head as I was writing this script because, yeah, that that was a trip, but I think we all have good memories about our Halloweens. Um, anyhow, I, I don't know why I went down that rabbit hole, but um, it fell on Tuesday this year, and it this is going to be at 5.45 p.m., because usually what trick-or-treating was then was um, 6 to 8, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, it's about 15 minutes till their trick-or-treat starts, and um, in short, basically female listener is feeling a little clingy and a little bit vulnerable right now. So she's going to, um, try to get Eddie's attention. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> um, this episode with that in mind is rated R for strong language and explicit sexual content. Listener discretion is strongly advised. 
17 plus is the suggested min minimum and yeah you guys know the drill uh i can tell you to not watch listen to this until my face turns blue i'm not steve Harrington. i'm not going to come to your house and 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 tell you not to do what whatever you think is best so <laughs> All I ask is that you keep that age to yourself. Don't tell me. Just don't tell me. <laughs> um, in terms of ghost peppers, we are talking a solid four ghost peppers. It doesn't get too, too hot, but it is pretty hot. Um, so keep that in mind. And let's see. The title of this episode is Spooky. And you know what? I forget who wrote this particular song let me go ahead um go ahead and pull that up so i could tell you maybe possibly ah there we go so it was the classic four that did this at this song um in the 1960s it's again one of those songs that sticks out in my memory because my mom used to play it all the time when i was growing up so yeah uh spooky it's a good song and uh what, what, what else um zaddy's perspective so you can internalize it or you could think of it as a fourth wall and i think that's all i got let's go ahead and just jump into the episode enjoy listener hey i'm back from the store and you know, from work, um, pickings were slim for the candy, but I got a few, let's see, I got a few, uh, full-size bars, lucky kids, geez, and a couple bags of dum-dums to pass out to the trick-or-treaters tonight, so, uh, I still think that we have enough candy, but, maybe? I just got home from the IGA. A uh, listener had asked me this morning as I was leaving for work to stop by the store to get more candy for tonight. She already has four bags ready, but she's convinced that that won't be enough to pass out. And with her pregnancy hormones raging right now, I'm not about to argue with her. Worst case scenario would be that Wayne and I will have to eat all the leftover candy over beers and maybe the next Bears game. Peanut is due any day now. Originally, listener's due date was on November 8th, but the baby is apparently a big one. He's, he or she is quite a chunk. The doctor is estimating Peanut to be well over seven pounds already, so there are no risks for them coming earlier than the 8th. The trailer is quiet as I enter it. I drop the grocery bags onto the coffee table along with my keys and my wallet before going to search for my wife. Listener, sugar, where are you? As I walk past the kitchen down the hall towards our bedroom, I feel familiar, soft hands covering my eyes. I smile as I feel her baby bump press against my backside. <laughs> oh, you sneaky little minx. I was wondering what you were up to. Surprise? What surprise? You want me to turn around? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Shit. Wait, no, 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 no. Come back, come back. No, that, <laughs> that was a very good reaction. <laughs> uh, you're, so you're, you're, oh, shit, you're. You're a sexy witch. Um, I like it. I like it. <laughs> you look. Whew. Yeah, you look hot. <laughs> yeah, hot. H O T. Gorgeous, stunning, sexy. Uh, 
Baby, hey, wait, 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 hey, 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 no, no, why are we crying? No, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why, why are you crying? You, you think that I'm not attracted to you anymore. Seriously? Why would you even think that? Baby, no, no, most, that's most definitely not the case. You are, you're very sexy, especially, especially right now, especially when you're pregnant. I, I think, I think it's attractive. You are probably the most beautiful that I've seen you so far, and that says a lot. For real. It, you're you're gorgeous, sweetheart. But I I just I I don't want to impose upon you. I, I know that you're tired all the time and you're going through a lot of changes and that, that's why I wasn't instigating anything. I I don't want you to feel like you have to do stuff. But yeah, you're you're absolutely beautiful. Uh, especially those boobs of yours. Ow! Ow! Well, what do you expect me to say? You, you basically are displaying them for me right now. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside though, I really, really like this costume. Ah. Uh, I like it so much. Too bad you aren't going to be wearing it for much longer. <laughs> nope. 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 Not stopping. Not stopping. No. No, you started this. Um, mm, mm. Uh, we have, let me look at my watch here. Uh, shit. We have a uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes before the first round of trick-or-treaters arrive on our doorstep. Mm, we totally we totally have enough time to conjure something up, Mrs. Munson. Okay. Alright, come on. Come on. Be bedroom. We're going to the bedroom. Mm, no. You're not passing out candy yet. Mm. Time for you to go inside the bedroom and bewitch me. <laughs> mm. No, I'm not. I'm sticking to the corny witch puns. Now, how do I get you out of this dress? Oh, a uh, zipper. Okay. Get that. There we go. Done. Um. Step out of there. Very nice. Uh, let's take this hat off too. And um, here, let me get down here on my knees here so I could get these stockings. How do you get these fucking garter things off again? Oh, okay, okay. These are confusing. Jesus. Anyways. So pretty. How can I not want to touch you? You are so beautiful. Especially right now. Uh, I love you too. Okay. How about we get you settled on the bed, all right? I help her out with the rest of her clothes, stripping her down and gently easing her down on the bed. 
Okay. Are you comfortable? Um, how about you lay down on your side? And I'm going to be the big spoon. Yeah. Just, just relax, baby. I kiss along her collar and up to her neck, lightly nibbling and sucking at her soft skin. My hands reach up to cup her chest gently, making sure not to squeeze too hard because I know how sensitive they are lately. I lightly suck on her earlobe and chuckle against her ear as I hear her give off a breathy moan. Trust me, I always, always want you. In fact, how about you let me touch you right there. Hmm. Mm. You feel so good. I move my fingers against her as I suck her neck lightly. I start feeling her tying around me, and then it happens. L listener, um, did you, uh, What's wrong? Wait, you, what, you what? You, you think your water broke? Now? Oh, oh, um, oh shit. Okay, um, okay, okay, uh, let's get you dressed. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, you're gonna have to wear your costume, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Let's put this on. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Just do your breathing. Do your breathing. Um, oh, shit. I, I gotta go wash my hands first. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no. Stay put. Stay put. Just sit. Sit down on the bed. I'll grab the hospital bag. And fuck, I need to find my keys, my wallet. Shit. Okay. Just stay there. Stay. All right. Okay. All right. That's done. <laughs> baby, baby, oh God, don't worry about the trick or treaters. Yeah, yeah, I, I will sit, I'll sit the candy out for them. Um, okay, I got your bag. Um, here's my keys and my wallet. Let's get you out to your car. Yeah, yeah, I, we're not going to take the van. It, it's just, it's too high up for you to climb in and. Especially since you're in labor. Oh, holy shit. I can't believe this is happening. Um, fuck. <laughs> you're in labor. All right. All right. Let, let's go. Let's go. I got you, baby. Come on. Okay. That's the end of episode 17. We'll left you guys on a little cliffhanger here, but I promise it'll be well worth it. So yeah, tell me your thoughts below. If you know what, I'm going to give you guys an assignment. You tell me what you think Peanut is going to be, what gender you think Peanut's going to be, and then I also am going to say if you have a favorite Halloween memory to share that as well. So those are your assignments for now. But yeah, if you like the video, consider hitting that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hi. I hope you're enjoying the channel. 
Um, if you want to continue getting content from this channel, just hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications. Uh, also, if you aren't friends with me over on Instagram or TikTok, what's stopping you? Let's be friends. Go over there. Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. If you want to send me a message, I don't bite. I'm very nice. Um, so, yeah. Just go ahead and send me some info. And other than that, uh, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll have a new one up for Series 1 very, very soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.